Hello, scholars. It's I, Mr. C, wearing sunglasses because I have a touch of conjunctivitis. That means pink eye. But that's not going to stop this 21st century educator from teaching you how to group by fives and why that's important. It's skip counting in real life. It lets you take big numbers of things and group them into smaller groups that you can then skip count to get the answer for. And that's why this is such an important skill to learn, right? You're going to actually use this when you're counting larger groups of things, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly how right now. All right, now imagine somebody dumped this bucket of stars on the table and was like, hey, you got to count this. Right? What are you going to do? Are you going to go through and be like, okay, one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a second. Did I already count that? Right? It gets really confusing if you count by ones. So I and many people like to use groups. I've already showed you how to use groups of two. Now I'm going to show you how to use larger groups, a group of five. So all I'm going to do is take these stars and put them into groups of five. Look. One, two, three. Four, five, groups of five. Here's another one, whoop, and another one, whoop, and another one. Whoop. See, it's not that hard. Just to count to five a bunch of times and put them into groups. Ooh, I have two left over. I'll just put those off to the side. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of five, and then an extra group of two over here. Let's use some skip counting to find out how many stars we have in all. Let's skip count by fives. Watch. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then we can count by ones. 36, 37. We have 37 stars on this computer screen. And I know that because I used groups of five and skip counting to figure that out. I'm going to show you how to use groups of 10 next because that lets you count really big numbers. I will see you in that video.